This is Ralph with 13 Peppers, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over one of the most beautiful ornamental peppers that you can get. It is the Black Pearl. And don't argue with me about it. <laughs> that was horrible. Bad jokes aside, and yes, I apologize for that. But um, this pepper is a beautiful, beautiful addition to my garden this year. This is the first time I am growing it, and I have six plants that are actually growing in my garden now. The foliage on this plant is a beautiful dark color. Um, the flowers that actually come on are a nice, colorful purple, and then the actual pepper itself starts out a deep, dark color and then turns into a night nice bright red crimson color when it is ready and ripe it is a beautiful contrast when it's growing and it has been a wonderful wonderful looking pepper that i've been able to watch grow this year now this pepper was actually developed by the u.s arboretum floral and nursery plant research unit inside the agricultural research services vegetable laboratory and this actually won the all-american selection in 2006. now one misconception out there is when you grow an ornamental pepper that the actual fruit is not edible and that is not the case at all the fruits on the ornamental peppers are very, very edible. I mean, some of them have a better flavor than others. This one, I have not even tested yet, and I am so looking forward to it. The Scoville units, they say, is actually anywhere between 10,000 and 30,000, and it's supposed to have a nice, sweet flavor with a long, slow burn that does last quite a while. So, very much looking forward to it. So, first, let's go ahead and cut it open, take a look at it, then we're gonna try one. As you can see from here that these peppers actually are no bigger than my actual thumbnail. And once again, they start out with a nice deep dark black color and then they turn into a nice deep red crimson color. Beautiful, beautiful looking pepper, especially when you got that black foliage and everything um, behind it. So let's go ahead and open a few of them up here and take a look. We're gonna start out with this unripe one here. Now with this pepper here, taking a look at it, it actually has medium sized um, thickness on the walls here. So very nice. Does have a decent amount of seeds for that size pepper. Probably about 15 or so seeds inside here. But what's impressive is with this one that has a nice, nice medium thick wall on that. And so it should hold plenty, plenty of flavor. So very nice. Now let's go ahead and open up a ripe one here. With this one right here, you can see these walls on this one actually seems a little bit thicker than what the um, unripe one was. Um, same amount of seeds total in there, probably about 15 to 20. Um, I can already smell the um, citrus-like um, smell from this pepper just opening this one up so this i think is going to be incredible for the tasting so but that inside is a good looking pepper and that amount of wall that you have on the edges there that's going to hold a good amount of flavors now it's time for my favorite part and that's trying out the pepper so i'm gonna go ahead and start out with the unripe half that i've done it still got the seeds and the placenta in there so let's see what this one tastes like it starts out You can tell the walls and everything do hold a lot of juice, but the unripe one doesn't have much flavor at all um, on that aspect. The heat does hit you, I'm gonna say similar to like a cayenne pepper. It's gonna sit on the back, it's sitting on the back of my tongue and seems like slowly spreading out towards the back of my mouth, towards the sides and everything, but not too bad. And like I said, it's very similar to a cayenne on the way and the style and everything it burns. So it does seem to, after a little bit, seem to pick up the intensity just a little bit, but yeah, it's not a bad burn. It looks like a nice, slow, even burn on that too. So now 
Let's go ahead, let's try a whole ripe one here. And then that way, uh, we're gonna see if that's gonna be much different. Mm. Yeah, right off the bat, I'll finish chewing. Right off the bat, that does have a burst of sweet citrus, light citrus flavor that kind of fills your mouth. Um, the flavor kind of goes away quickly, but that heat on it, very similar. Even chewing and everything. Um, <clears throat> same thing, sits on the back of the tongue. I think this is the second pepper is kind of spreading wider around my mouth. So on the top sides, whole tongue, you can feel it on there, but overall heat wise, <clears throat> not too terribly bad. Like I said, it's gonna be similar to a cayenne. Um, if you bite into a cayenne, the heat so far seems like it is lingering more as a constant heat. It's not dissipating or anything at that point, but um, has a real good flavor on that initial bite. But um, like I said, it does kind of dissipate quickly. So, yeah, I mean, not a bad pepper at all. Being the size they are, um, might be able to snack on some of these, dry them, use them as like little small snacks, or probably dried and used as like a rub, like a, make it, mixing it with like a chicken rub. That would actually be a nice flavor on here. Um, yeah, overall, not a bad pepper. And even though the sweetness and stuff kind of dissipates quickly, it makes up for it in the beauty of the actual plant itself. Uh, now over on the side of my yard over here, I got two pawpaw trees that I am going to be building a decorative garden underneath it. And I'm going to be showing off a lot of my ornamental peppers instead of just having them back in the garden that I have back in the back. That way they're out on display and people can actually see them when they're over for cookouts and whatnot. But, um, this is definitely going to be in that garden when I have that done. But with that, yeah, great pepper. So yeah, with that, that is going to be it. All right. I appreciate you guys watching this video very much. If you liked what you've seen here, please subscribe to the channel. It does help me out greatly. Hit that thumbs up button. That also promotes it with those wonderful YouTube, al YouTube algorithms. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at 13 Peppers by Ralph, or you can also go to my website, which is 13 Peppers by Ralph.com. There I actually sell the seeds I grow out of my garden. And here soon, as soon as I have this season's peppers ripening up, I will be updating um, all the peppers I have with the New Year's seeds and um, including all the brand new varieties that I'm actually growing this year and having seeds for those also. So with that, I do appreciate you guys once again and you have yourself a very good day.